today's our talk is about red eyes in monsoon as monsoon is in its full swing we see nature everywhere and we are tempted to go for monsoon trips and trekkings but what about the red eyes the conjunctivitis you must have heard in the news and on the social media so this conjunctivitis is usually caused by some viruses bacteria even there are some new organisms to add in the list how you will come to know that you are suffering from conjunctivitis so you will have some discomfort itching in the eyes there will be some watering in the eyes and it can be associated with some whitish discharge which is getting collected at the corners of your eyes and it is causing your lids to stick together in the morning and you have to work really hard to get your lids separated so that you can open your eyes this watering discomfort itching and the discharge may vary from patients to patient according to the severity and it also vary in the same patient between two eyes along with that your eyes become red and they appear swollen your lids are also swollen you have some pain discomfort sometimes hypersensitivity to the to the light and if you neglect don't show your ophthalmologist on the right time then it may lead to some blurring of vision and sometimes it is a headache to get back your vision it may take even a year so what you should do when you have all these symptoms first and foremost you should visit your ophthalmologist don't take any over the counter medications we do see patients who are taking self medications and they just go on the pharmacy and take some drops there may be some steroids what we usually see is some anesthetic drops steroids or some unnecessary medications which you put in your eyes and it gives a pseudo feeling your eyes becomes immediately white but the actual cause is not treated so first and foremost you should show your ophthalmologist let your ophthalmologist see you properly on the machines and judge your severity and start you on the proper drops usually it consists of some kind of a lubricating drop antibiotic antiviral drops and sometimes it will uh, they will need to add some steroids in your prescription let your ophthalmologist take a better call for you and what you are supposed to do from your side put the drops take the hygienic precaution this is very important what are these hygienic precaution whenever you are touching your eyes or your face after touching at first you should avoid touching but if you need to clean your eyes put the drops after doing all the procedure you should wash your hands with the clean water and soap or and if it is not available at outside places or uh, because of anything then you can use just a sanitizer keep a sanitizer bottle with you and when you are cleaning your eyes try to use tissue paper and cotton so that you can dispose it off into the dustbin avoid sharing your towels handkerchief or your clothes with the other people so that they are not going to get infected remember this doesn't spread by looking into the infected person's eyes but it's spread by the contact the second and foremost thing which you should remember being a responsible citizen if you are infected don't travel in crowded places don't go out stay at home let your eyes take rest let them become more and more better with the drops whatever being advised by your ophthalmologist the second thing what you will do if you are not having any infection how you can protect yourself same hygienic precautions try to use sanitizer more and more, more. don't touch your eyes and your face more often especially when you are outside traveling through the train buses or you are going into the any crowded places even in your monsoon trips and trekking avoid touching to your face and eyes repeatedly and try to use more and more sanitizers and what special about monsoon trips and trekking is to remember is that water there is right now infected it is whether it is a river dam swimming pool pond or even your tap water it's most infected at present there are specialized conjunctivitis like microsporidial conjunctivitis which is 
is spatially spread by the water and we are seeing more and more cases in our area and everywhere in the India. So this causes some white spot on your cornea. It is really a painful for a doctor and for a patient also. So take care of your eyes. Enjoy your monsoon trips. Don't let any water enter in your eyes. What about your children? They are special target or easy target in conjunctivitis as they go to school, colleges, or you take them to a crowded places. They get easily infected and also they can easily infect you. So try to use some protective glasses or a goggles for you and your children when you are traveling outside. And take care of hygienic precaution. Avoid touching your eyes unnecessarily. Avoid touching your face, try to use more and more sanitizer, take care of your eyes, yourself and your family and enjoy the monsoon with all acceptive precautions and hygienic precautions.